Hello, my name is Anastasia. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to discuss with you a topic that's been discussed so much recently in the social webs, on the internet, and it's called Russian manicure or how I call it deep manicure. The reason for that is I'm a nail technician who is doing electric file manicure for 12 years already and I'm teaching it also for nine years and also I'm Russian. I just want to share my opinion regarding this topic. <music> Historically, uh, Russia was a part of a Soviet Union and all we had is a what we call classic manicure. This is the manicure where we remove cuticles using implements, nippers or scissors. There were no removers at that time, so all we used was the water and those implements. Then in 90s, finally, electric files appeared, but there was no such good selection of the drill bits yet, so mostly we used it to do infills, refills, and to remove gel or acrylic nails. Then in 2010 or something around that, finally, we had this huge selection of different drill bits of different sizes, uh, diamond drill bits, and mostly, some of them we took from the dentists and that's where what I call Russian electric file boom appeared. I think it's fair to any industry, to any professional, that in all industry there are professionals and people who are not professional yet, but they are still teaching, they are still sharing their knowledge. What manicure should do? I personally think that we should remove only non-living tissue, the surrounding non-living tissue near the cuticles and sometimes on the side walls and the skin that's actually growing on the natural plate, this part of the cuticle, so we can apply product and it will adhere good. But unfortunately, at some moment, this went kind of back to what we call Soviet Union manicure. Some nail technicians started to use electric files to remove not only non-living tissue, but also a part of living tissue. So they were using this hard diamond beads to remove everything. And after that, usually fingers and sidewalls, they look really red or pink. And the reason for that is that they removed a lot more than they were supposed to. Imagine that you went to a doctor and you told him that I decided to remove my kidney because this is really trending now and also I believe that I will look more pretty without my kidney. What do you think the answer will be? I believe he would say something like, well, psychiatrist is on the next floor, you should better go there. That would be fair because our body is designed in such way that we don't have any parts that we don't actually need. Everything is here to do something for some purpose, as well as the cuticle and the sidewalls. Their purpose is to secure our nail plate to prevent it from damage, from bacteria and from infections. So if we damage this area, we actually open the door to all bacteria and infections. Recently, there were many discussions on the Facebook, on other social webs, on the internet, and also I read this article by Doug Shun. By the way, I'm a big fan of Doug Shun. I read all his books and this is something like nail bibles to me because I learned so much from it and by the way if you haven't read them yet I recommend you to do that and honestly I can not say that I agree with almost everything he noted in his article because I believe in that too that manicure should not damage skin or natural nail our goal is to make nails and hands look better, prettier and healthier, not to damage them. But for some reasons it went too far at some point and some nail technicians and nail educators unfortunately started to remove a lot more than it was supposed to and also uh, sometimes they apply gel polish a lot deeper under the cuticle which allows the color to last longer. But once again I believe that we can apply 
polish or gel polish really nicely with this even line and still do not damage nails. If you share something on the social webs, on anywhere, if you share your knowledge, please take your time to do some explanations. I believe that the reason uh, for some problems occurred with this uh, electric file manicure is that many nail technicians, all they did is they just saw these pictures or these super fast videos on Instagram where some other technicians are working with the spits and removing cuticles and it looks so nice and then they start to repeat it but they don't realize what the speed should be what kind of drill bits they should use so please if you are sharing something if you want to share your knowledge take your time to explain what products should they use how they should do it why they should do it and what should be the result also, I'm teaching online classes and it was a challenge for me for a long time. I personally didn't believe that it's actually possible to teach someone online, but as um, my experience and practice show that it is actually possible and unfortunately we have almost the same problems that we have with a live education. Okay, let's imagine that one student came to a live class with a high-class professional educator to learn electric file manicure. Then he or she, this educator, took a student's hand and was showing everything so accurately and the student did everything the right way. Then, after a few days, the student comes to the salon and still she can do something wrong way because you know this wasn't just enough to learn she still would need some practice and the same thing can happen with the live education as well as with the online education uh, my opinion is the problem is not because only of the online classes but also with the social media overall i believe that every professional and successful nail technician and if you're watching this video I believe that you are um, need to understand and realize something with their own brains and head like when you're watching someone's tutorial someone's demo on the web just always think is that right is that safe you need to understand how a natural nail structure works how it grows how the nail cells are produced and with all that knowledge you can never be fooled by any new trending technology as i am russian obviously i feel a little offended because this russian mani manicure is now called bad to me, it's some kind of cliché, it's the same like to say as all Russians drink vodka or all Germans drink beer all the time, right? We cannot judge uh, the whole nation, the whole country by some particular thing, the same as with the manicure. And I admit that we have many, many professional educators and nail technicians, but as currently we have too many overall educators and nail technicians, some of them are not doing the things that I personally think are right. For example, this deep manicure. My opinion is that manicure should not damage skin or natural nails. It should all bring quality, the natural look of the nails without damaging them. I would really love to hear what do you think regarding this topic. Please share your opinion. Are you doing manicure by yourself? Do you use electric drill? Do you think that education is important? And what have you heard about Russian manicure recently? Thank you very much for watching this video and I look forward to see you soon. Bye.